Hello, I'm Galen. I hope you're doing well. A couple months ago, I made a video talking about some things and showing the process of a digital painting I did. And last month, I tried digital painting again. And so I wanted to share the process with you and uh, kind of my thoughts as I was attempting this painting. I've been trying to come up with the title for this video or topics I want to talk about, but uh, it's been weeks now and just trying to plan for it has been stressing me out, so I'm just going to try a more casual approach and just watch the speed paint myself and talk over it as it plays. So getting into this, I am really scared of doing digital painting. Like I mentioned in that other painting video, it's not something I do often. So I've been having this idea in my head for a painting that I wanted to do of my character's fam, who is an ocelot, and she's an adventurer. I wanted to have her wandering through a mushroom forest, and I've had this idea in my head for a really long time, I've had it saved on my phone, but I've just been so scared of actually doing it, because painting, painting digital or traditional just really intimidates me. I was just so worried that it was gonna suck and it would just not be what was in my head. But after some time I just decided that I was going to try it anyway. I accepted that there was a high possibility that it may suck, uh, but I'm just going to try anyway and learn from the experience because I can always uh, paint the idea again or use what I've learned for uh, future paintings and I really wanted to paint and I just didn't want to let that fear hold me back anymore. So here you see me trying to paint these bushes in the background. Uh, first mistake I made, I was trying to go right into the details and that was really messing me up. I made some really ugly stuff so I just tried to simplify it and after being frustrated for a while I simplified it into a sort of a hill with some simple lighting. And then I started blocking out some of the shapes of other things in the piece. Uh, getting some of that dark pathway. Uh, I struggle I struggle a lot with just ground in general, like grass and gravel and whatever bits on, on the ground of things in backgrounds. Uh, I've been trying to get into doing more backgrounds for the past few months. I've done a lot since then and I've been improving steadily. Uh, right there you saw I just deleted that mushroom, I did the same thing again, I just went right into the details. And after that time I was frustrated again, so I went back to doing simple and wanted to do a little bit on the character this time. And I learned from those mistakes before and I made sure to take my time and go really simple, starting with some smooth shading on the body and kind of just getting in those lines. I like to, for, for my, uh, the way I like to paint, I still like to integrate some of the, the 2D line style, usually just with like the eyes and a bit of facial features. I like to keep a bit of the lines of the mouth and some of the creases I like to keep just with line art. If you sort of think of the movie, The Bad Guys, the DreamWorks movie, The Bad Guys, uh, you can see it's 3D, but they still keep some of those 2D elements, and I like that sort of aesthetic, so that's the reason I keep some of that in. I do blend some of it away later with some painting, uh, but most of those lines there are going to end up staying. Um, I've, I've realized from some of my other videos that I kind of talk a bit monotone, so I'm going to try and be a little bit more expressive with with my voice this time, uh, see, see if I can not sound too boring. Uh, and now I started uh, shading in the the right hand of her. Uh, so she has a, this is in a fantasy setting and she has this 
a prosthetic arm. It's a uh, kind of wo it's wooden and with a bit of metal parts. Uh, the kind of lore behind that is there's a gem or some kind of magic rock rune thing in in her hand. At the top there's like a compartment and you can see a bit of the glow coming through. And basically that links to her mind and she sort of uses that mind energy to control the arm. And uh, when she's not on adventures and stuff then she'll take the prosthetic off just to be more comfortable. And so it's also got a sword there. I was uh, so usually this uh, her outfit that she's wearing right now. It's a new outfit I made for her. I did one drawing previously where I designed the outfit, and this time I wanted to see it in in the painting form. Okay, and I'll get back to that. But right now you can see me. I finally started getting somewhere with that grass. I started really simple. Uh, there are some times where I started to get a bit too messy and muddy with the colors and adding too much details I guess you can call it the just detailing in a bad way just adding stuff for the sake of it but I tried to keep it uh, nice and simple with a few stylized grass bits and now the background was starting to take shape I added some atmosphere and started just doing some basic texture on the mushrooms getting in the lighting I spent quite a lot of time on these mushrooms. The stalk part went pretty well for a while. You can see some of the reference I was doing there. I was sort of doing a study at the same time, integrating that into my painting. And uh, while I'm busy with those mushrooms, you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just sort of uh, mixing in what I see in the reference, kind of doing a study out of it. And so, for her belt, the way the sword is attached, she usually has like a larger simple strap that goes around from her shoulder. But I wanted to try something else, so I looked at some uh, references for different... I don't know what you would call it, I guess sword holder? Uh, sword holder? I don't know what you call the, like the belt strap thing that you put in the sword. No, it's not the sheath, but like the actual part that uh, you connect the scabbard to and such. Uh, the, the belt loop thing. Um, yeah, so I tried a different type. I'm not sure if I like it. I'll have to play around with that. But uh, I'm rambling on about the wrong stuff right now. Back to the mushroom. I had a good thing going there. Started adding in the textures slowly. But as I went on, I sort of overworked it. Like right now, it kind of looks okay. Uh, but I started adding too much again, so I was playing around with that for quite a while. And in the end, I decided to uh, just go over some of that texture with some more shadows and kind of let some of the details get lost in shadow and just simplify things a bit more, which I think ended up working much better for the piece overall. I was in a pretty good place with the background. I don't think I add too much more to it from here. So I was ready to work properly on the character. Did a bit of detail on the sword and the pants. And I was, uh, for the most part of this, I was quite frustrated, especially with the background. Things were just not going well. Uh, I wanted to throw away the piece a few times, but I took breaks and tried to uh, analyze things objectively and then I decided to carry on and I'm glad I did because I ended up liking this painting quite a bit and so I continued and from here on things were going pretty easy I was just doing some details on the outfits and that was going nice so all that was pretty smooth didn't have too much trouble there I really love adding cast shadows really nice and what's here? Okay, I started doing the chest plate. This was a bit tricky, but I, I do like... Um, I have done some metal studies before, so it was not too unfamiliar. Just trying to get a right balance of how realistic I wanted to, it to look like. I keep eyes pretty simple. I like them to look nice and glossy. 
And I added a bit of red to at, uh, her left pupil because when uh, the sun hits blue eyes especially, it kind of gives a little bit of a, a red glow. You'll see that in if you look at any pictures with uh, uh, cameras that put the flash on or in sunlight of someone with blue eyes, you should be able to see a bit of red. And then I didn't put any highlights in that eye with shadow. Uh, because sometimes you will still see a bit of a highlight uh, in Eyes with Shadow, but the way the shadow was casting on that eye and the amount of sunlight that was hidden from it, uh, you, there wouldn't be any uh, reflection that would be able to come from that, so I didn't add any highlight. And um, so that's one thing to keep in mind if you ever have some eyes and shadows. If something blocks it completely from view of whatever light source it is, uh, generally there won't be any little specular highlights, but if it's just like um, a little bit of shadow that covers, uh, then you may see a little bit, but for how much is casting here, there's, there won't be any of that. Okay, so I added some fur textures, that was fun to do, uh, doing a bit of uh, what you call the ambient occlusion shadows and then on to this hand I was a little bit worried about doing this hand the last time I did hands I struggled a lot but I had some good reference this time and I did a cleaner sketch the last time I did it way too rough for me uh, but um, since then I've been drawing a lot more hands and trying to do different ex expressive hands and that helps inform my decisions on painting and it uh, went a lot better than I thought it was so that was a pleasant surprise. So here we are at the end of the painting. I hope you liked seeing the process and after finally getting over the fear of attempting this and finally making the thing I really wanted to make, uh, I learned so much from the experience and doing a painting of something I really enjoy really helped see what I need to focus on to improve to make more of what I like. So specific things even like just painting in the fur and the sort of scenery kind of take that information and know what I need to work on. So now I'm more excited to do another painting, probably won't be for a while, maybe uh, later this month or in another month. I don't want to overwhelm myself with doing paintings too frequently because uh, it is diff I do find it quite difficult and it takes a lot of time uh, but I do love it so I definitely want to try again. Until next time thank you so much for watching and have a lovely rest of your day wherever you are whatever time it is. Have fun with your art and take care bye bye.